Hi guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. I just got out of a meeting and I was like, you know what? I want to vlog a little bit tonight and tomorrow. So picked up the vlog camera and here we are. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And today is Monday and I had such a productive day. I went to the grocery store, got a bunch of groceries and I'm excited to cook dinner tonight because I have this recipe that I've been wanting to make and we're going to make it later. But I've just been getting so much work done today the work day is not over yet i did want to vlog a little bit so i can show you guys like what goes on behind the scenes instead of just talking about it but i just got out of a meeting and i have some really fun things that i'm working on right now and projects and just things that have been in the works for like three years now that are going to be released this year so Really, like these have been things that I've been working on for a few years now and they're finally like ready to be released this year. So I'm really excited about that and I'll give you guys more details when I can. And then we talked about my Revolve launch, which is happening next week and just a bunch of stuff that has to do with that. So I'm also very, very excited about that. I can't believe like the day is almost here. We have a week until the party and then I think it's like two or three days after the party is the official launch, March 30th. So, and I just can't wait. And I've been waiting to post all my content like from the shoot and just show you guys the collection. And I'm so excited that I finally can do it next Monday. So I'm gonna start planning like the rest of my content. I have the vlog edited and I have reels already made like for Instagram and stuff. And I just have to like plan my posts and stuff like that. But I'm really, really excited. And I can't wait for you guys to see it and wear the collection and how you style it and just all of that. I'm so, so, so excited. I showed you guys in my last video though, I set up the house differently. This is the new dining room right when you walk in. And I'm gonna have more like house updates coming this week. But I got some flowers today because it's officially the first day of spring. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, wait, I need to get fresh flowers for the house. And <laughs> this is what I got. I got these white tulips. And I'm moving this table up to the office this week because I want to use it as like a giant desk. And I'm getting the office set up right now, which I will go upstairs and show you guys because I've been working on it this past weekend. And it's finally starting to kind of come together. So this is just a little overview of like what we're working with right now. I mean, it's not anywhere close to being done, but I just want to give you guys a little idea. So this is the table that I have right now. It's just too small because I want to be able to have like a big workspace when like my assistant comes over and we are like working on projects and getting stuff done. So that's why I'm going to bring up the other table. And then over here, I just have a little console which i don't even know if this is going to stay here it is nice because there's a lot of storage which i just have like the printer and like random baskets in this one with like camera equipment and like stuff for the podcast in there and then i want to obviously hang up my youtube plaque i have my revolve little award thing that they sent me and then I just have some clothes that came in the mail from Joa Brown that I need to put away. I just got this new steamer, which I've been like needing a steamer for so long. So I just got this. And then right here I have all of my new pieces that just came in the mail. So these are some pieces for a like styling video that I really want to do. These pieces right here are for a styling video that I want to do. And then the rest of these pieces are my Revolve collection <laughs> and I'm just so excited. I actually need to bring some of them to the dry cleaner this week because I need to get them dry cleaned. They have like spray tan and like the body stuff that was like used in the photo shoot to make me tan. These are all the pieces that I wore during the shoot. But yeah, I just have all my pieces hanging up right here. And then this is my little workspace that we're working with. And I just have this box right here, which I need to go through. It has dry cleaning on top and then a few bags that are like full of stuff. And then all my bathing suits are in here, which I need to find a place for those. I don't know why I haven't like gone through this box since I moved. And then we have a full length mirror right here in the wall behind me. This wall is actually chalkboard, which is really cool. So we can like put notes on it and stuff like that. I just don't have any chalk, but I need to probably get some and I want to hang up the curtains 
and then also I do want to get a like giant cork board or something I think I want to get one that's gonna like lean against the wall instead of like hanging it since we already have like the chalk wall but yeah that is just what we're working with I wanted to just give you guys like a little update and I have some stuff that I'm just finishing up right now before the end of the day I have a vlog which I'm uploading it re-uploading it to YouTube it's a sponsored video and the brand wanted me to add text on the screen I just exported the video and now I'm uploading it so I can send it over to the brand and hopefully fingers crossed post it tonight I don't know where this brand is located, but a majority of them are in LA. So hopefully they will be able to see the video tonight and then I'll post it tonight. And then I also have to send over something for Revolve that they need for press for my collection. I have to do a TikTok, Instagram story, and I have to send out a few emails. And then I have to do ad read for my podcast. So that is everything that I'm trying to do before the sun goes down. I'm going to start dinner right now before I bring the dogs out because I want to get this in the oven because it's going to take like 45 minutes to bake. But I am making a like honey Dijon mustard chicken. I got this recipe off of Instagram. Somebody posted it. But I have everything for the sauce that I have to make. We have honey, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, you need fresh thyme and rosemary, garlic, olive oil, and then I have the chicken thighs, which have the bone in and the skin on, which are gonna be like very crispy and yummy, and I personally like chicken thighs when they have the skin on and the bone in. They're my favorite. And then I have some shiitake mushrooms, which I am probably gonna saute with this baby broccoli that I got, and then I have these two like massive sweet potatoes over here, which I think I wanna roast, or I might make rice, but I haven't decided yet. like debating whether or not I should wash my hair today I might do it later because I want to try to work out today but I sleep with it in braids like two braids <laughs> and it's ha it has like a little wave to it because of the braids and I've been really liking it lately but yeah so I don't know I'm kind of into it I just did my skincare and I literally have the worst cramps this morning I'm gonna turn off the fan but I literally have the worst cramps this morning. <sighs> like they hurt so bad. And usually like I'm the type of person if I have my period, I'm not like I don't really get that many cramps, but I don't know what it is. I woke up this morning and it's just like my stomach hurts so bad, but it's okay. I started using this new body duo. My skin has been so dry this winter, especially my body. And I was just finding that like when I would get out of the shower, I would be so lazy to put on moisturizer. Like if I didn't put oil on when my body was still wet in the shower, I would get out and I would be like so lazy. I wouldn't want to do anything because honestly, like none of the products that I was using for lotion were really like working for the cold, like dry weather that we've been having. But... Aloe Tifa just came out with this duo. It's the four times body elixir and the RR power body 
Both of these products are waterless and one of the main ingredients in them is aloe and aloe is like so soothing for your skin. And the body serum actually has hydrolyzed aloe in it which is four times stronger than actual aloe vera. So it's gonna be super hydrating. Also, this would be perfect during the summer for like an after sun care. And this body cream right here, you guys, is literally so good. It's like nostalgic and it just smells like my childhood. Cause I know that there's almond oil in it and that like smells like my mom and it smells so good. And honestly, this has been the only body cream that I have put on at night and I can like still feel it on my skin in the morning. It's so rich and it's like velvety, glides on really nicely and it keeps your skin so hydrated. And I love doing the serum first and then following it with the cream. So I'm literally gonna douse my body in this right now also. Aloe Vitiva products are made in Italy, so they are just like so luxurious and just rich and I really like them a lot. I just want to show you guys the difference. I just did the serum and the cream on this leg and this one has nothing on it yet. It's just like obviously dry from <laughs> being in the shower and also the Boston water is so drying for your skin. It's like really, really, really bad. But as you can see, like just putting on the serum, the moisturizer brought literally like brought life back into my skin. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for that to soak in, but I actually think that this body serum would be really good if you have any sort of razor burn. I don't deal with that anymore because I get laser hair removal, so I haven't had razor burn in a few years, but I used to get the worst razor burn on my armpits and my bikini area. It was so bad, but I really feel like this would help so much because of the aloe vera in it. And I just think it would be like so soothing to irritated skin. I'm sitting here and I just like cannot get over how bad my cramps are. Oh my God, they literally hurt so bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of brow gel and concealer. That's just been my go-to lately. I have a tinted sunscreen on right now which is from Jan Marini. And I really like it a lot. I struggle so much because I have a lot of like pigmented acne scars. I need to go get a facial in a few weeks for this. I was talking to the lady that does my laser because she also is a facialist at the place that I go to. And she was like, yeah, you don't need anything that's going to be like super harsh, like any harsh chemicals because that could make your skin worse since you do have like very sensitive acne prone skin. But I do want to do something that's going to just get rid of all that pigment because your scars aren't like deep scars. They're just hyperpigmentation. And I was like, yeah, that's like what I need. Like I don't need anything harsh. I don't need micro needling or anything, which is like what I used to always get. And I swear it made my skin like so much worse. And she was telling me that the micro needling, if you have like active acne, it'll like push bacteria back into your skin. So I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't need anything like that. I just need something to get rid of like all the scarring that I have because other than that my skin's been really really good knock on wood just use the milk makeup concealer in the shade 8c and I took a little brush and just kind of dotted on the places that I want to cover and I'm gonna wait a couple of seconds for it to just dry I'm just gonna take my finger and lightly pat the product in i try to just like diffuse it a little bit around the edges okay you're all done i've been loving making oatmeal in the morning i just do two scoops of oats and then i add a tablespoon of ground flax and then cook them with milk almond milk and then i take this bee pollen and i just like to sprinkle this on top and then I also take some honey and I do a big drizzle 
And I think today I'm going to add some cacao nibs. I'm just gonna do a little bit on top. And then while I was cooking the oats, I also added in just two little scoops of this colostrum. It has so many benefits and it's a really amazing superfood. It's literally such a nice day out. I just got back inside from bringing the dogs out and it's like 50 degrees, sunny, and I'm just really excited because it's finally like springtime. But I have a bunch of work that I'm going to get done this morning. And a lot of the stuff that I need to get done is, well, all of it is on my computer and I also need to go through my DMs and reply to some DMs. But I am, I have a bunch of questions right now that I have to answer from Revolve. So they asked me to kind of do like a little mini interview. So when my collection comes out, they can like take quotes from the interview and put them into like the email, put them on the website and also use them for press. So I'm going through right now and I'm just answering all of those also. I'm trying to like share more behind the scenes of like what I do for work because I think that people think that I just like don't do anything all day and I like go grocery shopping and like get my nails done or like get my eyebrows done but those are just things that I choose to show and my vlogs are not my whole entire day but I'm just gonna answer all these questions get this done because my collection launches a week from tomorrow so I really want to get this done and get this over to them. So, yeah. I just got done with the questions and some of the things they asked me was just to describe my personal style what was my inspiration for the capsule collection what are my favorite pieces in the capsule collection and why and where do I see myself wearing the collection so I just went through and I answered everything and I just like went into detail so they had enough information obviously to take then take my quotes and use them for everything that they need to do but now I'm just going to go through my emails. I have a lot of emails to go through. I have three email accounts. And this is like one of the first things that I do every single morning. I will go through my email and I have my work email, my personal email, and then my email, my work email that is through my management. So. I have 31 emails in one of them, 27 in the other. And then my personal email only has one right now because I just went through that one. But I have a bunch of emails from potential video editors that I'm gonna go through right now. I posted something on my Instagram story a few days ago and I got like over 50 responses. So I'm gonna go through and try to sift through them do that right now and then also I just have a bunch of other emails that came through from brands and just things I have to reply to from my manager so that is a little bit of the behind the scenes not that exciting just like the things that you guys don't see I just feel like there's always so many emails and the email is where I am communicating with everybody so like my manager I have all my threads for all the campaigns that I have going on right now. Um, I have just other projects that I'm working on, so I have emails about that. I am in the process of choosing my personal assistant, so I've been talking to my manager about that. So it's just like a lot of things going on at once, but um, yeah, so that is just the reality and a little bit of the behind the scenes. <laughs>
5.11. We just got done recording another episode for our podcast. And I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along the night with me. It's snowing in Boston. So I just thought it'd be fun to vlog the night. I'm at Emma's right now. And we just got done with the podcast. And that's what's up. Um, it's snowing today. Which is crazy because when we went to our workout, the snow outside of Boston was like so much more. And then we got into the city and snow. it like doesn't snow. Well, the snow doesn't really stick as much, but we're supposed to get like over a foot. And it's supposed to be, I guess, like our storm of the year. Where did you hear that? That's what Mike the trainer said. I thought we thought we were getting three inches. No, we're getting over a foot. Oh. But it was sticking. <laughs> when, we were, when we were at the workout. But, yeah. cooking dinner tonight. Chase is cooking. Chase is cooking. And he's making us pesto pasta with homemade pesto. So we got just got all the ingredients. We have bread, chicken, pesto, this pasta right here. Emma's going to make brownies. And we had a little snack earlier and this is what we were eating. And then we have garlic and then stuff for a salad. Emma and I got balsamic and sweet baby lettuce, spinach, mushrooms, tomato and red onion. Wow, that looks so good. I need to make the salad, but it's quick. Thank you, Chase. This pesto pasta looks so good. And I made a little salad on the side. Poor little Cleo. What is it called when the girl gets, like, not neutered? Spade. Spade. Right. 